a body of water at 8,200 feet elevation, also known as Courtright or Courtright Reservoir. It's a beautiful lake. You're pretty high up in the mountains and air is fresh and on this day, I decided to fly my drone around, but yet I did not want to disturb too many of the campers as they are trying to sleep in, so I flew the drone out just for a little bit, tried to get some uh, shots for you guys to check it out since some of you have been here and some of you haven't and some of you haven't seen it from an aerial perspective. But this rock right here is a very nice rock to climb on and hang out on. I usually uh, park my kayak on the side and climb up to the mountain to the rock and then enjoy it. You could jump off on some parts of the side and swim around. And when the water's low, there's a good area for you to really park a whole bunch of kayaks. As far as these mountains in the back, I always wanted to climb some of these little peaks. But early in the morning, the the weather is pretty good. It's about low 40s or high 30s. Camper's still sleeping. You can see one guy there at the end of the rock doing his fishing. And in a few weeks, I'm going to be up here camping. So I'm just scouting out some areas as far as today, checking out things, and uh, do a little catching, a little fishing. So as a car topper, kayak car topper, you got to do this every time you go kayaking. And uh, it's not bad, but after a while, it, it become kind of kind of annoying <laughs> just on off on off taking everything off and put on back on but once you're on the water great and uh today i am using a 32 ounce ball i left my four pound ball at the house because i'm just going for trout you don't need four pound i mean it would be great but too heavy less drag and then I'm setting my rod at a certain angle, perfectly for trolling. If you are trolling and you have a pedal dry system, I would really recommend getting a arm extension for your rod holder, just so it sits a little bit higher. I used to run it uh, with the little short one that comes with the ram mount, and uh, it'll be so short, so low, that every time you kick or pedal, it will hit your toes or your feet will hit the, the handle of the fishing rod and it gets pretty annoying so having to sit up a little higher it just free your feet free your legs from kicking without getting snag or hit or bumping your rod all the time and uh, it works I'm using this little uh, jerk bait that always produces for me up here I don't know why, but to me, they like the color gold, and it always catches fish. Should just put it in. I lost my lure too. <laughs> Good for playing it around. Hey, hey, hey. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> the small little rainbow. Dick maneuver. So, I've broken off one of my golden ones. Exactly like this one. <laughs> so, let's see if I do it again. Alright, got another one on. Same lure. Or, same color. Because I lost the other one. Not as strong, so not as big. The other one fly way better. Like a little shaker. Well, not a shaker, all trouser keeper, but. Little small fish. Oh, a little dinky guy. Too small. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fish on the crankbait. Fish on the crankbait. Chilly, but a uh, good day to wear a sweater. Got my uh, Gullion Hunter sweater on, the hoodie, just in case it gets too cold. And uh, I, don't know, I think it's like a fleece, it's almost like a fleece on the inside. And uh, it feels really great, really, really warm, toasty on a cold, cold morning. So it looks like there's not much action on the north end. So I'm gonna make my way back closer towards the boat ramp, the dam area, and maybe fish for the campsite area too. But it does seem like the fish are a little bit bigger over there because you can't see only a tiny ones out here. Unless I zigzag my way back and cover more more water. Hopefully it's still on there. Oh yeah. Still on there. <clears throat> Feels light too though. A little tiny. Fish number four. I will release them all. If it's big enough, I might keep it, but if it's tiny, releasing it. Ooh, good fight, good fight. But tiny! What the hell? <coughs> They're, all so tiny. They're like the ones I caught last time on the shore. All little tiny ones. I got a nibble on this side too, but it's not hooking up. Yep, there's a fish on there. Just super tiny. Seven. Oh, well, there he goes, my head shakes. Barely even fighting. Uh, 
if I was to keep all my fish, I would have got lemon ready because uh, this is number five. Another little baby one. There we go. Catch and release. This one feels a little bit better. I feel a lot better than the other ones. It's actually kind of heavy. For now. Until I see what it is. It might be a little tiny guy that just fighting a lot. I might actually keep this guy. It's actually fighting good. It might kind of go turn around. Feels good though. Feels heavy ish. Slowly fighting it. Or is it just a little baby one? I just got hooked sideways. Ooh, brown. Brown. Oh, yeah. I'm keeping that guy for sure. <gasps> Wow, so feisty. Okay. Yeah, boy, got myself a brown. Just hit him bottom. No, it is a fish. Little rainbow. Woo, like a bullet. Don't worry, I don't want you. There you go. 